To be honest, I didn't see much. I watched some highlights today. I uh, enjoyed seeing that. There's a good smattering of people there on the bank. And uh, and Ben Sawyer is with us, and he can talk us through that. Welcome back to the show, Ben. No worries at all. 132 runs was the victory in the first one, and clinching uh, the series comfy in the second. So, job done then, huh? Yeah, yeah. We uh, thought we performed well both games. Obviously, they're you know allowed to get better, and um, you know they're always going to get better after that first game. So, um, not pretty happy with what we've done so far. Look, talk us through what is the situation with Leah Tahuhu, who I know didn't get a contract, and and but just seems to have worked her way back form wise into the side. Yeah, look, we you know sat down at I guess when I started and, and had a pretty I guess set way that I wanted to to go about you know and in, importantly like looking at different phases of the game and how we were going to bowl in each one and and I just think Leah does that does that really really well so. For me, that that made her selection quite simple, and um, yeah, she's she's performing up front with the ball and swinging it, and then she's able to close out innings at, at the death. And a big part of what we're trying to do is tell all our bowlers, whether they're pace or spin, that they've got to at least be able to perform really well in two phases of the game. And, and like I said, she does that. So for me, it's a it's an easy selection at the moment. And also, just came back into the side without a buy your lead, and no sort of bitterness, or hey, you dropped me once, or whatever, just straight back into it. Uh, look, I think it was a little bit, um, I guess I was fortunate in a way that, and I'm not trying to defer this, but I wasn't sort of part of that. So uh, I've been able just to chat to her about what I saw and, um, you know, how I thought she could play a role in the team. So I guess for that, that that, that made that maybe a little bit easier. No, it makes it a hell of a lot easier for you then, doesn't it, if you're not involved in that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to get out of it. But no, yeah, no, look, Brent, it I understand a selection that, yeah, that sort of I was a part of and I understand why they made those decisions. But I guess, uh, and look, maybe that's an advantage that Leah's got in terms of, I guess, in my former life, I'm a fast bowling coach and uh, I just always liked what I saw when, whenever we played against Leah. So uh, maybe she had that little leg up with that. But, um, yeah, I've always been impressed with what she's done. Look, I, I know that you probably don't remember because we spoke during the Commonwealth Games and um, and we spoke to Hayley and, uh, and Hayley Jensen and she was saying that the influence that you had had on her, obviously with your experience as coaching, but also given, giving our women the confidence as well. What is What have you seen in this team improvement-wise since the Commonwealth Games to now? Yeah, I think, uh, I guess, uh, using our body as a, as a bit of an example, like, we're really trying to, I guess, just lift the tempo as soon as we come in. And, and I think we've had really good examples of that during the Bangladesh series that, you know, even with a couple of down, a couple of wickets down yesterday, Mealy and Maddie were able just to step in and, and start straight away. So I actually really liked, I read some comments that, that Mealy spoke about, about just being able to kick in a second gear straight away and, and maybe able, you know, you might have to leave it a little bit longer uh, if we are in a little bit of trouble at the start. But I guess just that. Okay. That confidence, I know that it's something that Dean's really trying to speak to the girls about, about just being able to have confidence, whether we're two for 100 or two for 10, to, to come in and, and back your own game and just, you know, start the tempo straight away. Look, we're seeing a change in cricket, how it's played. It's that confidence word. It's going for it, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if you, you know, you've been following the scores in Pakistan versus England, but it's yeah. just, yeah, there you go. Your reaction says you have it. It's quite yeah. remarkable, isn't it, mate? Yeah, I think if you give players a little bit of freedom, and I guess that's, you know, we spoke to Rebecca Byrne just about coming into the team, and, you know, that's a role that we want to fill. We we want to have an, another batter up the top that that can just go from the start and then that frees up our middle order a little bit. So whether or not that's Rebecca in the World Cup, but it's, it's her at the moment, and, you know, we're probably going to look at a few batters in that position, so... Yeah, it's, it's just freeing up that middle order, in my opinion. This is Ben Sawyer, who is the uh, White Ferns coach with us. And, and also, you're playing in a part of the country where the weather seems to be a bit more settled, mate. I mean, in uh, Queenstown, Christchurch, Dunedin, lovely places to go. Yeah, it's been great for me. I've never been to these play. I've only really oh, been brilliant. to Christchurch brilliant. and Wellington. So I'm really looking forward to about to jump in the car and drive to Queenstown. They're all telling me the drive's really nice. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that and, and to play in there. So... Um, yeah, it's been an experience for me as well. I saw a nice smattering of people on the bank there too yesterday. Yeah, there were a few here yesterday, and and um, you know I think a few watching Susie and and Eden, the, the home girls, and, and Haley as well. So uh, there were big cheers when those three were involved in particular. So um, yeah, it's really nice having people and and 
having crowds at the games and stuff like that. Hey Ben, so we're talking to Craig Cumming last week, and he had the uh, the what I don't know though the merging players eleven, but the the or yeah. the yeah okay the the A team eleven and. Um, you know, fascinating that uh, the ages of our young women that are playing, we're really, really young, young team. Yeah, look, I, I always use the example of Fran Jonas. Um, you know, 18 years of age and like that, Commonwealth Games, I, I still think about that quite often that, you know, she'd played one game before that and we threw her the ball and made a bowl the first over of every match in front of, you know, 10, 15,000 people and, you know, probably a million people watching on TV around the world and you know to ask young players to do that is is such a big step up and it's actually something we ask young girls to do probably a lot a lot earlier than we ask young men to do at times so um yeah them being able to step up on those stages uh, always takes me back and I, I just think how incredibly well they actually deal with that pressure yeah, why well, is there any any why would there be any difference doing it with the the men and the women I mean is there, is there any fundamental difference no Oh, I just mean in terms of, I think, like you said, our girls tend to debut a lot earlier than, than the boys do. And that's that's all I mean by that is just that, you know, we, we you often see young girls at 17, 18, 19 debuting for their country. I, I don't know if you see that as much in the men's game. I, I don't think you do. So, um, yeah, just always, I'm always amazed at how the young women in particular just take that in their stride and, and play in front of big crowds and, you know, hopefully, like you know, in the World Cup in a couple of months' time, big crowds and big TV crowds. But um, they deal with it really, really well, in my opinion. 